Do you guys remember Freedom Pineapples? Well, if you don't, here's a bit of a refresher. In March, China banned the import of Taiwanese pineapples, citing pest problems. Before the ban, a majority of Taiwanese pineapple exports went to China. Taiwanese officials said that 99% of exported pineapples passed inspections, so they thought that the ban was bogus. But Taiwan had enough faith in its pineapples that it said, Fine, China, don't take our pineapples. We'll find another place for them. The campaign was a success with people in Taiwan and places like South Korea and Japan buying up all the excess pineapple stock. Now, a similar thing is happening with these two fruits. Do you know what they are? Well, if you don't, don't worry, because odds are if you don't live in a tropical climate, then you've never seen one of these weird looking fruits. One is a wax apple, the other is a sugar apple, also known as a custard apple. These are two popular fruits Taiwan is known for. So on Sunday, China suddenly banned wax apple and sugar apple imports from Taiwan. The ban was to take effect on Monday at 9 a.m., giving farmers less than 24 hours notice that one of their largest markets was closed off. China said it detected mealybugs in wax apple and sugar apple shipments from Taiwan. Okay, but here's the thing though. In the first half of 2021, China notified Taiwan that it found mealybugs in 13 sugar apple shipments and 6 wax apple shipments. Okay, that's fair. But there were no reports of mealybugs in July and August, the two months leading up to this latest ban. In response, Taiwan's Council of Agriculture said China provided no scientific evidence for the first mealybug reports. Furthermore, before the ban, Taiwan told China it updated its agriculture regulations to include more rigorous tests for sugar apples. So some authorities think that China's ban is a way to put an economic squeeze on Taiwan. Around 90% of Taiwan's sugar apple and wax apple exports go to China, so fruit farmers are once again facing the problem of too much stock with no place to go. This time around though, Taiwan is equipped with its freedom pineapple experience, so another campaign kicked off, this time helping Taiwan's sugar apple and wax apple farmers. Government officials posted to social media encouraging people to purchase domestic wax apples and sugar apples. This time though, instead of freedom pineapples, we're looking looking at freedom fruit, though I do think the hashtag missed an opportunity with freedom apples. No matter pine wax or sugar, Taiwan's only got good apples. You see agriculture ministry, it's not that hard for me, just give me a call next time. Taiwan's various farmers are posting their goods online and taking orders which are quickly selling out. Even Taiwan's agriculture minister is showcasing wax apple goods on his social media page that people can buy. Pingtung County Magistrate Pan Meng An, whose county produces a lot of wax apples, even showed off the different kinds of wax apples people can try. Now look, it's fair if China wants to ban Taiwan's agriculture exports based on poor quality, but everything we've seen so far gives us room to doubt. Either way, Taiwan's fruits are looking for a new market, so be on the lookout because you might just find wax apples and sugar apples at your local supermarket soon.